what is good youtube so today we are d wait bro you said you want to learn how to do snatch blocks bro yes i want to oh, learn all right all right my boy i got you i got you just tune into this video bro tune into it and watch through the whole thing bro i'm telling you all right bet i will show you how to get snatch blocks what is good YouTube? So today I'm bringing you guys this banger video as you can tell by the title, you feel me? But as you saw my boy right there, he needed he needed me he needed me to tell him how to get snatch blocks and all that good stuff. Ignore that voice crack, you feel me? But make sure you guys drop that like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, you know, watch all the way through so you know exactly what to do and how to get snatch blocks. I'm gonna show you the badges that I would recommend using to get more snatch blocks and all these tips. I only got one clip for you guys so my bad about that but i could just not find all my clips because i had to go through like hundreds of them bro because i have a lot of stuff clipped on my playstation and i just didn't really think it was worth it so i could just get this video out for you guys i showed you one snatch block but hopefully you guys believe me and believe your boy that i got a block you feel me but, but let's just straight into this banger y'all Alright guys, so what you're gonna want to do, I'm gonna show you guys the badges I am running to get more snatch blocks in NBA 2K21, y'all. So basically, you're gonna wanna go to your defensive badges. As you can see, I have mine on silver, bro. I would recommend putting it on gold if you can. It is optional if you have those badges. Definitely, if you have 30 defensive badges, throw that rim protector on, bro. That rim protector on gold will help out a lot bro you will get more snatch block animations all that good stuff bro but i'm gonna get into the tips after i finish showing you that one badge that i am showing you right now but let's just get straight into the main tips and tricks make sure you watch all the way through so you know exactly how and what to do y'all i know this does not sound true or it may not sound true to you but bro if you're going to try to attempt to get a snatch block, you're going to need to hold R2, RB, or whatever it's called on your Xbox, you feel me? But you're going to want to hold it and hit triangle, bro, because that will just help you get a snatch block. It, it just gives you some, I don't know why, but it just works like better for some reason like it gives you a better animation when you're trying to get the snatch block and i think it just lets you like try and get the snatch block but if you cannot it'll just go for a regular jump and block it maybe like normal but it is all luck you're, you just can't expect to get snatch blocks over and over in the paint if a center just creeps up on you and like just post up you in the paint you feel me the more and more you you honestly need to time your jump as well if you time your jump at a key point basically what you can do is so if the defender is running at you trying to dunk on you you will most likely maybe get a snatch block if you time it correctly but as you can see this he passed the ball to him but let me see if he runs for me right there he just ended up shooting it up, but I did not attempt to jump. But if you attempt to jump, I don't think you can get a snatch block like that because he is fading away from me. But I think you have a more chance of getting it on the layup because the layup, he goes up slowly and you can just time that easy. It's basically when his feet jumps up from the ground and you can time it and jump make sure to hold the r2 or rb and then hit your triangle but you need to have rim protector on bro because it's going to be so much harder if you have your rim protector on bronze or nothing at all bro i'm telling you right now but other than that, you guys, I do not want to drag out the video for you guys, and I do not want you guys to get bored. But those key points, there's basically two steps. You need to have your badge. You need to have your badge. So that's the first step, bro. The second step is you need to know when to time your jump. And then the third step, maybe this step goes before the step I just gave you. But you need to hold R2 or RB and then jump. But you just need to put all those steps together and you will be getting more and more snatch block as you progress in NBA 2K21. You can always use this in next gen if it's the same method. Well, it's not really a method. It's just like a tip on how to get more snatch blocks. But yeah. So we have reached the end of the video, y'all. So make sure you guys drop that like, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you have not already. I have not missed the upload yet in NBA 2K21, y'all. Your boy is on his grind to support the grind you feel me if you want to go see me live on twitch go hit that notification bell and then over there go hit that follow button like i just said right now bro but i would really appreciate it y'all and i'm out y'all